My video about how to set up Anaconda in Visual Studio Code um, has been very popular, but I made some mistakes in it and the procedure I use isn't working for some people. And so I created this update to hopefully alleviate some of the problems you've been having. Um, I hope you find this useful. And if you continue to have problems, um, please let me know and I will try to address those. So once again, hope you find this useful and you can check out opensourceoptions.com for more courses and tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link up your Anaconda environments and your Anaconda Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code on Windows. So first, make sure you have Anaconda installed, Anaconda installed, and make sure you have Visual Studio Code installed. I'm not gonna go over the installation in this video. There are lots of videos online that you could use to, to install those if you don't have them installed already. Okay, I'm also going to assume that you use the current Anaconda defaults and recommended settings for installation. And when you do that, they recommend you don't add Anaconda to your path variable or to your Python path um, so that you're compatible with the other users on your systems. So I'm going to make those two assumptions. Um, depend if you installed this differently um, and didn't use those recommended settings, then you may have some issues with the video that I'm showing you here, or the steps I'm showing you here. So be aware of that. The first thing we want to do is we're going to open up our file explorer and I'm going to go to where my Anaconda installation is. So for most of you, it's probably on the C drive, users, your username, Anaconda 3. Okay, that's kind of the default location is C drive, users, your username. So I'm going to go here to Anaconda 3 and I'm going to click on the top bar here, the path bar, and I'm just going to copy that. You can do control C or right click copy like that. Okay. So once I have that, I need to add this path and the path to the scripts folder to my environment variables for my account. And the way we do that is we're going to open up um, our menu here and I'm just going to start typing environment variables and I'm going to go to edit the environment variables for your account. Okay. And I'm going to go back and do this one more time for you. So if I click environment variables, you might click on edit the system environment variables. And if you do that, it's going to bring up this window. You can get to the window I was just at by clicking on environment variables and it gives you options to edit them for your sys for the system or for your account. Um, I recommend you just do this for your account. Um, you're going to be able to have, have this fully functioning for your account if you do this. If you use multiple accounts for one to install it for multiple users, then you can do it with the system variables. So here we want to click on path. We want to click edit. Okay, and you can see I already have these added. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one and delete that one. Okay, and so you can see here that this is what yours will look like, something like this. You won't have the Anaconda paths on there. So now I'm going to click new and it gives me a new line. You can right click and paste or you can do control V. And then I want to click new again and I want to do control V to paste that in there, backslash and type in scripts. So it also links to the scripts folder. And now I have those two on there. Once I have those, you want to make sure you click OK and click OK again. All right, so now my environment variables are updated. So click OK here. Now I'm going to go and open up Visual Studio Code. So let's go start, let's find Visual Studio Code, and let's go open that up. Okay, now let's go ahead and open a folder, and we'll create a new folder to just put a Python file in and make sure that our Anaconda installation works. So I'm here in Downloads, I'm going to make a new folder called PyTest, and I'm going to select that folder. Okay, so now we have that open. Now, before you do this, if you haven't done this already, you're going to want to make sure you've enabled and installed this Python extension. So your extensions button is right here, click on extensions, and you can type in Python. Now, it's this one right here. 
It's just the general Python extension. Um, and you're going to just want to make sure you install that in order to continue here. I'll go back over to my Windows. So once you have that installed, um, you'll be good to go. I'm going to go back over to my Explorer and I'm going to go to my PyTest folder. I'm going to add a file and I'm going to call this test.py. Okay, you can see I automatically recognize that as a Python file. And if you notice down here, it's loading a Py it's loading the Python extension. It found my conda base environment already, Python 3.7.4. Um, and it found that because I put this in the path variable. Now let's try to import numpy, numpy, and just run something. So I'm gonna do import numpy as np. Sorry, as np. I don't like this autocomplete. I don't know why it wants to do this anyway. I'm gonna fix this, this is bugging me. Okay. Import nump numpy as np, and we're just gonna make a variable called a equals np dot a range um, 10, and we want to print a, okay? And this says Python is not installed. I need to download and install Python before using the extension. We should be okay here. And we might have to troubleshoot something. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So we have this code here. Let's do control S to save it. And let's go and click run. See what happens. Okay. So you can see that we've gone and we've done conda activate base. We've activated our base environment. And then we've printed out our array that goes from zero to nine. Okay. So our code worked. Now, let's say that I want to change the environment I'm using. Okay. And I have other conda environments this is in my base environment. Let's say I want to use a different environment. Well, it's actually really easy to do. If I do control plus shift plus P, control shift P, it will bring up this palette bar. And you can type in select interpreter. Okay. And when you do that, it'll give you a list of options here. If you look at Python, select interpreter, it will bring up a list of the available interpreters you have. And so you can see here that I have two different Conda environments. They're in my Anaconda 3 ENVs folder, and I have this Py37 Conda environment. So let's go ahead and click on Py37, and let's go ahead and click Run and see what happens here. So let's go click Run. Okay. And so you can see that here, oh, we had the exact same thing happen. It didn't actually go run that environment to activate in my base environment again. Let's see if I can click run here real quick and see if it works this time. So we're on base, click run, and it's still only activated base. Let's try to type. And so one thing you might have to do here too, let's go over this real quick. So notice right here, if I click this, I can select my default shell. And it's gonna give you different um, shell options. I would recommend you select command prompt. Okay, so select command prompt. And at this point, we might need to restart Visual. You might need to restart Visual Studio Code. Okay, if you get errors and this is not running for you, that would be the first thing I suggest you do is go to select default shell again, select command prompt, and then restart Visual Studio. One way you can check to make sure things are going to work. So you go to your Windows, type in CMD, and bring up your command prompt. And here, if you type conda, you should get this help list for conda. Okay. And then what you can do is you should be able to type conda activate base. Oh, and I spelled it wrong. So conda activate base. And you see we got an error here. 
we should be able to activate this from our shell. So let's type, let's just type activate base and that works. So the newer version of Conda, we just need to use activate base and you can see we're now using the base environment. Sorry, let me zoom in on that for you. We're now using the base environment, okay? And if you can do this in your command prompt, it should work in Visual Studio Code. Now we can type deactivate. And you can see that it no longer says base here. And now let's type activate Pi 37. And you can see we have Pi 37 activated there. And if we type Python, this will tell us our Python version right there, right? So now you can type quit to exit out of Python. Okay, so things are working in our command prompt. I'm just going to deactivate this. Okay. And if things are working there, come over to um, Visual Studio Code. You can type deactivate here and you should see base go away and it does. And we should be able to click activate Pi 37. And we do that and we get Pi 37 there and it works. And so we're good to go. And so you can see we're using our Pi 37 Conda. And so, and one thing I failed to mention is that even though it might say base down here, if it says Pi 37 here, that's what the code is running. It might be printing this out saying it's using our base um, interpreter here, but it's really using this interpreter to run the Python code. So let's just type deactivate. I'm going to type deactivate here so that I'm not using any interpreter. Let's go ahead and click run and see if this runs again. Okay. All right. So now we have a problem. It can't find anything because we've deactivated the environment. So let's come down here and let's click activate. Let's type activate Pi 37. Hit enter. And now we have our Pi 37 environment activated here and here. And now let's click run and you can see that our code runs, okay? So this is how, it might be a little confusing in Visual Studio Code because we have our terminal here where we can run Python code and we have our code here that we're essentially running from the terminal. Um, but you can see that I've successfully hooked up my environments. I can activate both environments. Um, I can activate an environment here in the terminal. I can also use Control Shift P um, and type in select Python interpreter or select interpreter and select my Python interpreter. And I can select my different interpreters here to be able to do that. Okay. Like I said, just make sure that, um, activate base that you're switching here, um, to be able to have the same interpreter or your same environment here that you're running with uh, here in Visual Studio Code. And once you do that, you're able to use all your different Anaconda environments and how whatever environments you have for whatever projects, you can use those in Visual Studio Code. So I hope this video is helpful. Um, please go check out opensourceoptions.com for more information, for more tutorials on data science and GIS. And you can see courses I have there that provide a lot of value with code and with data that can help you get started with data science and GIS if you have questions. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day.